going to be talking about Coldwell Banker. So we really just want to get into all the details about what Coldwell Banker is, what we do, and whatever information we can throw at you. So today we're going to start with Jesse telling us about our legacy. Take it off, Jesse. Thank you, Chelsea. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us again. Yeah, we want to give you guys a quick rundown here of Coldwell Banker La Costa. So you can really know what we're all about, whether you're a buyer, a seller, or a um, real estate professional looking to make a referral, right? So first and foremost is our legacy, right? Coldwell Banker obviously has a huge legacy in the real estate world internationally and nationally here, right, in Mexico as well. Um, but first we want to go into our local legacy because Coldo Banca La Costa has been in business here in Puerto Vallarta since 1984, right? So that's over 30 years in the real estate market here, meaning we know it like the back of our hand, right? So our local legacy consists of this 30 plus year track record as the leader in the business and also consists of our four full service offices. We currently have an office here in the Romantic Zone, which is a super popular area in Puerto Vallarta. A lot of tourism, a lot of tra foot traffic. Um, so we see a lot of people coming in, of our, in and out of our office here in the Romantic Zone. We have an office then in the Marina, which is another super popular area of Vallarta, a little bit more north of uh, the Romantic Zone office. Then we have an office in Punta Mita, which is where we see more of our luxury um, sales happening. And that's more of a luxury market out there in Punta Mita. So we do have an office out there. And then we are super excited to be announcing that we are offering, we are opening a new office in Nuevo Vallarta. So this is gonna be in an incredible location, a great plaza in Nuevo Vallarta. And we're so, so pumped to get this office out um, and ready for you all to visit. So that's our local legacy. We've had, like I said, you know, 30 plus years here. So it's a lot. We've seen a lot of changes happen in Puerto Vallarta over those 30 years. Yeah, I think definitely that we've been through all stages of how real estate has grown, I think. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've seen the ups and the downs and we sure are seeing a huge increase in the, you know, in the amount of properties that are being bought here and the overall public interest of Puerto Vallarta. So, you know, it's a great time to be in real estate. And I think especially for us, having been in the business so long, we really are, you know, we're, we're kicking butt. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> and then, of course, right, so not only are we do we have this local legacy as Coldo Banker La Costa, but Coldo Banker also has a national and international legacy, right? Which consists of our affiliation with over 90 Coldo Banker offices throughout Mexico and over 3,100 offices in the US and around the world in 44 different countries, right? So if you're a buyer or a seller, this means a lot, right? A lot of exposure. Exactly. Like you're not just dealing with PV, you're dealing with literally worldwide exposure. Right. And our brand is so internationally recognized that let's see that someone sees, you know, someone's going, you know, property hunting, right? And you're selling your property and they see like a professional and recognize, recognizable signage from Coldo Banker in front of your property, they're going to know that this is a high value property with a team behind it that they can trust, right? So I think our leg legacy as Coldo Banker La Costa is huge and a really big part of our culture here at Coldo Banker La Costa. For sure. And I know, Chelsea, you have some up-to-date stats just, um, just to give folks at home a little idea of what the work that we've been putting in over the last year or two. Yeah, of course. I mean, I know everybody, sometimes numbers can be confusing and stats aren't always exactly what we want to hear, but I think this is also great information for when if you're either buying or selling or you just want to get to know what is Cobalt Banker and really what type of exposure and how big and how popular and famous is Cobalt Banker. So we thought we would give you guys a little bit of numbers just so, I mean, if you're in the States or if you're in Mexico, if you're in Canada, really anywhere you will find 
Cobalt Bankers. So basically, we are worldwide. Like Jesse says, we're just over 44 countries. I mean, that is amazing, amazing. So if you're anywhere basically worldwide, you will find a Cobalt Banker somewhere. And that gives us a total of 140,000 agents worldwide. And I mean, I just want to touch base here a little bit on Cobalt Banker and agents. You have no clue of the type of training and the type of, of help and guidance that Cobalt Banker gives to agents. So I mean, if you're going with Cobalt Banker, either buying or selling, you will have the best team behind you for whatever you're trying to do, and it's 100% worth it. So in Cobalt Banker Mexico, we have 6.5 million visits to cobaltbanker.com. So, I mean, that is amazing, amazing. That means you have this 6.5 million people possibly looking at the properties that are in Mexico. I mean, that is a huge exposure if you're either buying or selling. And like Jesse touched base here in Punta Amita, which is just a little bit up past um, Nueva Vallarta where our new office is going. It's a very high-end area. I mean, we're talking over a million dollars and more. You can't find anything under a million dollars over there. And, you know, talking about the Punta Mita um, community in general, you know, you're behind closed gates. It's a very exclusive area over there. Oh, yeah. So we're very fortunate to have, you know, a presence in that area. Yeah, for sure. And I mean, Global Luxury just isn't in Punta Mita. And everywhere that you will find a couple banker office, there is a Global Luxury area that, that we would call the Global Luxury. So anyways, we can find that in over 49 countries, Global Luxury. And this is a cool stat, I think. In... Between 2020 and 2021, we've had over 170.8 million in sales every day for Global Luxury Worldwide. Wow. So that gives you an average sale price of 2.3 million. So, I mean, when you think Cobalt Bank, you think, okay, we're not just playing with the little fishes here. We're actually playing with the big fishes. Like, yeah. there is some real amazing houses that are being sold, and I think it's just so cool. I know I find myself sometimes just looking online at our web pages with Cobalt Blanker and just looking at the, the amazing houses in the global luxury section that are being sold, and I just think, wow, like, that is amazing. Totally. I know whenever we get, like, a new global luxury listing, or even any, any listing, whether it's global luxury, not global luxury. Oh, yeah, for sure. I get so excited as I'm like flipping through the photos. I'm like, oh yeah, I could live here. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I could totally see myself living here. Mm -hmm. No problem. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so I guess this is just kind of like our last little stat that I found was also interesting as well with Global Luxury is right now in 2020, 2021 worldwide, there was over... 11,000 luxury listings equaling over $22 billion in volume for properties. I mean, there is some amazing stuff out there. I definitely recommend taking a look and like Jesse said, imagining yourself in those houses. <laughs> wow. So I like daydream. That's where I go if I'm like feeling stressed. I'm like, I go on our website and I just like flip through the photos. I'm like, ah, oh. Okay. It's a relaxing past. It's relaxing, exactly. I love it. Um, right, so I think those stats are great, right? And I know it's so tough to kind of keep track of stats when we're not really actually seeing them on screen. At least for me, right? Like I'm a visual learner. So hearing statistics, it like goes in one ear and out the, <laughs> the other. I mean, I think we just wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of the altitude that is Cobalt Banker and just like the variety of stuff that there is. And that, like Jesse said, when somebody sees a Cobalt Banker sign outside of your property, they're going to know like, okay, this is a well-known real estate company worldwide. Like you're going to be very appealing to either your buyer, et cetera. So I think it's just really cool to give you guys those stats. So in the future, hey, I want to sell my house. Well, the first thing I was going to think of is Cobalt Banker. <laughs> right. For sure. Definitely. 
And, you know, in terms of the services we offer, right, if you are a buyer, if you are a seller, if you're a real estate professional who would like to refer clients, right, we offer all of those services. So, you know, we list properties, we help our clients find their dream property in paradise, and we also do offer vacation rentals. So we have a bunch of rentals that are absolutely to die for that will definitely keep you coming back time and time again to Vallarta, right? And these rentals are great whether you're vacationing or whether you're looking for a place to stay while you property hunt. Um, our vacation rentals are also incredible. Um, in terms of the services we offer, right? So if you are a seller, we offer you a full service promise, right? So what does this mean? What is what can I expect if I'm looking to sell my home with Cold Awake or La Costa? So media, right? We have a super, super strong marketing program here, right? So we do social media, we do print media in the local um, print resources. We also run ads on properties. We have an incredible website that pulls in millions of views each year um, and, you know, your property when you list with us it actually goes on like a bunch of portals right so it doesn't just go on like coldwellbankerlacosta.com it goes on coldwellbanker.com it might go on globalluxury.com if your property is over seven hundred and fifty thousand um, dollars and you know it also goes to websites like point to homes um viva anuncios point to homes point south mls there is a like a bajillion portals that we are working with. And also I just wanted to add something in there that something I think is really cool with Cola Banker La Costa is we have such an influence of young bodies within our company that when we're talking about the media and online and putting out these properties that I think we're so involved with this era of media that we're always looking for new ways to get it out there like i'm talking TikTok, instagram uh facebook and we're always updated so i think that's a really cool fact also with coba baker la costa because i think that kind of gives you a security that like they're really getting it out there and they're looking for the best ways and the most popular ways at the moment so right exactly and as a marketing director I can tell you guys that I'm totally a part of my generation. I am a social media fiend and you know, I make sure that we are on the top social media platforms and that we're really pushing out content daily. Um, you know, so in terms of our website, our social media and, and general media presence, our local legacy, which I already touched on, our national and international legacy um, and our over 90 plus real estate professionals, um, you know, selling your property is an absolute no brainer when it comes to Coldwell Banker La Costa and selling with us. Um, you know, it's pretty incredible if you guys were to hear some of the testimonials that we get, not only about our real estate professionals, but about just the overall business of Coldwell Banker La Costa. We get incredible testimonials from extremely happy. Uh, customers whether they're buyers or sellers and it just I know if I'm ever selling my property I'm coming right to Cola Link right <laughs> yeah of and course. So, exactly and also right so now if you're a buyer what can you kind of expect from from buying with Cola Link or La Costa right I think when it comes to when you're, it's time to buy a property and you're looking it's like it could be stressful trying to figure out what real estate agency you want to go to you know, there are quite a few here in the Bay and it's hard to kind of get a grip of, yeah, okay, I think I know which real estate agency I want to buy with, right? It can be a tough decision and sometimes it's a lot more added stress to an already sh kind of stressful, you know, process. life event and process, yeah. So here at Coldwell Banker Local Set, we make it so easy and such an effortless process our, again, right, our team of over 90 agents are constantly trained in all aspects of the market, agency representation and negotiation, negotiation skills, right? All of which add up to giving our buyers an incredibly distinct advantage in what is becoming a super competitive marketplace, right? So our real estate professionals are a huge part of this buyer experience. Um, and then the experience that we have too, right? You know, the experience level, especially from our senior staff members of Coldwell Banker La Costa, 
you know, have been helping clients buy properties in the Puerto Vallarta and Nayarit region for over 30 years, meaning that there's virtually no circumstance or issues that at least one of them have not encountered or solved during that time. Yeah, for sure. Like over those 30 years, they know the areas, they know what's new, they know what's old, they know maybe certain problems with certain areas, certain pros with certain areas. Like I believe like those are the agents that could give you the rundown from the minute you were arrived to PV to the minute you leave when you're buying your home type thing like they know everything in between so I think that's really cool that we have a lot of senior agents on our team and a lot of the newer agents as well I think it's so cool that these people are so excited to work and they're just this vibrant group of guys and they're like okay like I'm here and whatever you need and I'll take you over here and I'll take you over there and they are excited to do it. So I think we have a really good mix of agents for sure. Exactly. And right, I think it's amazing too, because when you buy a property, you're not just buying a property, you're also buying the experience of buying a property. And that's where our agents come into, into play. And, you know, I cannot tell you how many like of our real estate professionals I see like becoming friends with their clients. You know, they go out to dinner all the time. They hang out, you know, they show them the ropes of Puerto Vallarta living, which I think is so cool. And not to mention, right, like our real estate professionals, especially our senior staff members, they have been in the business, right, for over 30 years. So they have within, they have their own network of real estate professionals, meaning that whenever a property hits the market, or even before a property hits the market, they know about it. So they basically guarantee you that you will have, you know, first dibs on any property that comes to market. So I think in terms of our real estate agents, we are so blessed and lucky here at Coldwell Banker La Costa. And I think as well, right, we have an incredible client legal assistance, right? So you need to have a comprehensive legal department that oversees every agreement that leaves the office and follows to the closing, right? Yeah, and just before you touch base on that, I think this is probably one of the biggest scares I would that I see a lot in foreigners when they come to Mexico. I mean, Mexico in some point, long time ago, had a really bad rep on the legal stuff. Like there wasn't that much rules that were being followed. But me as a person and as somebody that lived in Canada and lived in Mexico now, and I see how far we've come as Mexicans um, to the legal standards that you need to have I think it's something that people no longer need to be scared of because I've seen all these lawyers and all these people that deal, especially with real estate, which is a like a big thing for a lot of people because it's, it's not a little bit of money when you're buying a home. So I mean, you're, you need to be in good hands. And honestly, I've seen Mexico and the um, legal aspect of it grow so much that I think it's no longer a scare. Like I would compare it a hundred percent with my own experiences with watching it grow that you could compare it a hundred percent to the same standard as the States or Canada or even better sometimes. Yeah. I think, you know, the, in terms of real estate, Mexico and especially Puerto Vallarta has gotten really strict in terms of really all aspects, right? Um, you know, legal assistance, um, courses for real estate agents. So it's not like how it used to be. Definitely there was a lot of room for, you know, there was a lot of room for error back then. And I think now not at all. So I think especially because we have such a, just a, a kick butt client legal assistance like program in our office, I think, you know, our clients can relax in the knowledge that the security of their property investment is safe, it's secure, and there will not be any nasty last minute surprises. So I think this is something that we really want to get across to our buyers, our sellers as well, of course, and to the real estate professionals who are looking to refer their clients. This is one part of the buying process, especially that we take extremely seriously. Um, and, you know, we want all of you to know that. Yeah, for sure. So I know, Charles, that you know a lot about, obviously you used to be an agent, so I know you know a lot about you know, agents, you know, a lot about our sales manager, Dean, and also a lot about the trainings that take place. So if you wanted to touch on that. 
So I think in our last episode, I did talk a little bit about how I went through a six-week training with Dean, who basically trains you to make you understand the ropes of being a real estate agent. And honestly, it was the best experience. You go and you sit down and you're, he gives you all this paperwork. And at first you're like, oh my God, like how am I going to learn all this? Mm-hmm. And he walks you through every single step. and Like nothing. Like as though it's like. Aha, uh-huh, he walks you through it. And I just love the way Dean talks. He's so motivational. He's yeah. so patient. He just makes it seem so easy so basically our agents that are everybody at one point had to go through this so for newer agents that maybe are deciding they just moved to pv and they are dying to be a a real estate agent this is kind of like what you go through so you go through a six weeks training with dean you go through how to list a property how to sell it, how to help a buyer, the whole legal process, all the paperwork that's in between different types of properties, how to assess it, how to get to know each areas. And one of the things that I think is really cool with Dean is that he's constantly checking up on the agents and he will do, I think it's every few months or every six months, he will go back and say, hey guys, like, bring me in what are your goals for the end of the year what are your goals for the next six months so that's what something i think is really cool is that you become a community and this community is always going to push you to be better and push you to get to your goals and they're always going to be there for the helping hand so i think that's really cool and i haven't seen that a lot in a lot of other agencies i mean they kind of just okay you're hired and they set you off into this big ocean and they're like Good luck. Try and, try and find something to eat. <laughs> Whereas Cole Banker, I think, is really cool. And, and Dean has dedicated most of his time to just basically helping these agents be the best agents possible. And constant help. There's always, I mean, I remember when I was an agent and there was tough times where I'm like, I just don't feel like I'm doing the best I can. Dean would be like, come into my office, let's have a chat, let's talk about what your goals are, what you need to do better. I mean, so you really become this motivational family where everybody's just pushing each other to be the best agent possible. So I think when you're thinking of either selling or buying a house with Cole Banker, you know that you have this, not just one agent behind you trying to either sell or buy a home for you, you have this whole team that's there and that's present and that's constantly giving each other tips or helping them or filling in for one another. And so I think it's like a big ordeal. And I think that's something that that should be really important when you're either buying or listing, that you know you have a tight team behind you. So honestly, if, if there's an anybody that's in PV or that you're thinking of moving to PV and you're like, well, I want to continue working, honestly, with my own experience, especially with Cobalt Banker, I would recommend it 100%. It is definitely a learning experience and it is a very entertaining learning experience and you learn so much, but it's also, it's Cobalt Banker makes it a smooth learning experience. So for sure, Dean, kudos to you. <laughs> Yeah, no, Dean is, he's one of the best sales managers I've ever had the pleasure of, of knowing. Like, he is incredible, you know, and it's funny because a little anecdote, my mother-in-law also just started working at Cola Banker La Costa, and she, I cannot tell you, she would show up to her trainings every day, all super excited to just see Dean. She was like, Dean is my savior. Oh my gosh, I love him. He's just so motivational. And it was just so great to see her, you know, really excited about this new endeavor. And just talking a little bit right now on Dean, I think it would be cool. Like we're talking about so much how he's so motivational and how he just the way he he's so soft spoken. And you just listen to what he has to say. And you're like, wow, you like that makes sense. And Dean He just put out his own podcast, and so if you're wondering who Dean is, I'm sure we can link it here and below. You should definitely check it out. 
he then you kind of get to know what we're talking about and what this man is and how he's trained us to become agents and i think that would be a really good insight for you guys as well plus he has the best podcast for motivational also if you need that so yes get your dose of motivation with dean robbins he's amazing (laughs) and now so dean is our sales manager right but there is a extremely big presence here at Coldwell Banker La Cosa that we need to touch on, right? So our broker, who is the guy that started it all? And no, it's not Dean. It's Brock Squire. So Brock is our fearless leader. He has been in the business since 1984. Him and his wife, Bonnie, moved to from Canada to Puerto Vallarta in the early 80s. And in 1984, Brock opened up um, Brock Squire and Asociados, and that was what would become Coldo Banker La Costa. And this Coldo Banker La Costa was the first Coldo Banker franchise in Mexico. So that's pretty huge. And Brock has really made an incredible name for himself here in the Banderas Bay and Puerto Vallarta. Um, and also he is just running this company so effortlessly. He knows the ins, ins and outs of this business like nobody else I've ever met. Um, and he is just a really fantastic, incredible human being. So Brock Squire, our fearless leader, he is the reason why we are even here today talking to you guys. Yeah, for sure. And I think when somebody thinks, oh, the broker, it's kind of like the guy behind it all that you don't really ever see or talk to. But something that's really cool with Brock, I think, is that he's present. Like he is there, he is involved. He is communicating with everybody. He knows all of his agents. He knows what's going on. So I think that's something really special also about what he's done with Cobalt Banker. He's made it it so that he is there and that everybody needs to be present and everybody needs to be involved. So I think that's really cool about him. He's definitely made it a great community for everybody. For sure. And I think that goes back to what you're saying, right? We feel like a family. And I think we feel like a family here because Brock is so present. And because he has really taken the time to make sure, right, he knows all of his agents, he knows, you know, each and every one of our stories. And, you know, he's not, he, he's always there to take a phone call, you know, he always makes sure that he gives us time um, if, we're, if we're having a problem, if we need help with something, um, which means as well, right, that he's also available to any seller that may have a question, a buyer who might want a little more guidance right from from someone you know in management so i think having brock be such a who is such a vital part of this team to also be so you know forthcoming and and to be so present is just one of the best uh traits of coldo banker la costa yeah for sure so now i think we need to tell you guys a little bit about who who is interested, right, in moving to Puerto Vallarta? Who wants to relocate? Who are our audience? Like, who's buying? Who's selling? Who's asking the questions? Who's looking? So, Jessie, being the marketer director, I think she would know a lot about this. So, Jesse, I'm really interested to hear these stats and what's going on. So, right, we have our CB La Costa website, which if you haven't gone to check it out, please check it out. The link is below. Um, We see about 50% of our audience, they are from the United States, right? So we're looking here on our Google Analytics, we're looking at where our users come from, right? And that really tells us a lot about who's buying, who's even selling, and, you know, potential potential, uh, referrals that are coming in, right? So we see about 50% of our sessions come from the United States, which is huge. We see about 30% of our visitors are Mexican, right? So they are coming from Mexico. They are our nationals, right? And that's, of course, we we are in Mexico. It's natural to have a big national audience. And then Canada, we have about 12%, right? So it's a pretty big, um, you know, pretty pretty clear and cut, right? We have 50% U.S., 30 Mexico and 12% Canada. So a lot of our folks are, 
you know, in the U.S. looking to relocate or perhaps just buy a vacation home that they can rent out when not in use, right? Which talks, says a lot about the return on investment you can make here when you buy property. Same goes for Canada, right? A lot of snowbirds we see coming here. They're, you know, buying in, in Busarias, a, a region that has a really big Canadian population and community. Um, and right, also in terms of our expat community here, it's huge, which we'll get into when we talk more about Puerto Vallarta. Huge. But, you know, I think those are statistics kind of show that, right? You know, I mean, we have combined almost about you know, 70% coming from the U.S. and Canada combined. And then in Mexico, we have our 30% um, nationals visiting our website. So, you know, I think these numbers are are pretty easy to understand and pretty easy to get. And it does match with our, with our sales and our stats. You know, a lot of our buyers this year have been from the U.S. and Canada, and a lot have also been from, from, from Mexico. Yeah, and I think that's that's really cool to know as if you were a buyer or somebody that's thinking of moving to this area of Puerto Vallarta, that you know that you're not going to be the only one. You're not going to be the first and you're not going to be the last expat moving to Puerto Vallarta. Like, we'll touch base on this like Jesse said, but just to let you know that there is a huge community exactly like you that are people that have moved, that have the experience, that know what to do. They have great events, etc. So I think that's really common to know as if you were a buyer and you wanting to move down here, or even if you're just trying to rent down here to see if you would like to buy, just for you to know that there is a huge community of people that have gone through the same experience as you from moving from either Canada or the States, and they've done it. So I think that's really cool to know if you were a buyer. Totally, totally agree. And I think, right, we have a super healthy mix of, you know, Canadians, Americans, and, and Mexicans, of course, looking on our website, checking us out, and also, of course, on our social media platforms as well. Um, so that's for audiences. This is who Colo Banker La Costa is. Um, you know, if you guys have any more questions or want to get to know Colo Banker La Costa more, please visit our website. Like I said, it's below. You can find the link there. Um, you can explore all of our properties that we have. Imagine yourself waking up to a nice cup of coffee overlooking the beautiful view of the Banderas Bay. I know I do that all the time. 100% recommend doing that. It is very soothing. <laughs> but yes, Thank you guys for getting to know a little bit of Cobalt Banker. We're really excited to touch on so many other topics with you guys. And our emails will be down here below. So if you guys have any questions or you are eager to make the move or you are just curious, please leave us a message and we will try and get back to you as soon as possible. And also just thank you so much for listening to us. We're really enjoying giving you guys all this information and letting you guys know just so much about PV. So thank you guys. Yes, totally second everything you just said, Chelsea. I love it. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining us. Next week, we are going to be talking about Puerto Vallarta. So huge, amazing topic that we're super excited to talk with you guys about our home. We love Puerto Vallarta. Um, so make sure you guys join us next week and thank you so much for tuning in today. Yes, thank you guys.